everywhere. 19 News starts I was like now. scared, nervous, I was crying. I didn't understand why it was happening. Disturbing emotional new details of abuse revealed from the daughter in the Erica Stefanko case. The revelations made during testimony just this morning. Thanks for joining us this noon. I'm Nicole Versansky. Really some shocking testimony this morning in the retrial of Erica Stefanko. Her stepdaughter taking the stand, her testimony just jaw dropping. Brittany, we are joining us live now from the newsroom. And Brittany, what we heard today, so sad and just Unbelievable. Yeah, it's really hard to hear. We're getting all new insight into what Erica Stefanko was really like and what kind of mother she was. Her stepdaughter, Grace Cobb, uh, she gave sharing some new horrifying details of her childhood. Wednesday morning and day three of the retrial for Erica Stefanko. Stefanko getting emotional watching her stepdaughter, Grace Cobb, take the witness stand. Grace was just seven years old when her mother, Ashley Biggs, was murdered. Her father, Chad Cobb, already pleaded guilty to the crime. The now 18-year-old is a key witness in this trial because she, along with her other siblings, were in the back seat of Stefanko's car when Biggs was killed in 2012. I remember Erica making the phone call. It was her voice, and she used a different name to order, and I remember it was a pizza, but I don't remember um, what she ordered on it. Grace then went into graphic detail about how Stefanko abused her as a child. There was an incident where Erica had put dog feces, it was in blueberry yogurt, and told me to eat it, and I noticed that that was in there, and I, I mean, I haven't ever liked blueberry yogurt since then. During the cross-examination, the defense asked Grace a number of questions about the day of the murder. What kind of car was she riding in? How many seats were there? And Grace answered, I don't know to most of those detailed questions. The defense trying to disprove Grace's credibility because of how young she was at the time. And the next witness on the stand was a first officer to arrive at the scene of the murder. Um, and so coming up in our later newscast, I'll share what he remembers seeing as he pulled up to that empty building. Live in the newsroom, Brittany Weir, 19 News.